Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover what equivalent fractions are. We will go through three examples, and these examples are really going to help us start to understand what equivalent fractions are. Now simply put, equivalent fractions are fractions that represent the same amount. They represent the same part of a whole. So basically, we can have fractions that have different numerators and denominators, so different top numbers and bottom numbers, but the fractions can still represent the same amount, the same part of a whole. In other words, equivalent fractions represent the same value. But how does that work? Well, let's jump into some examples and see. We will start with number one, where we have who ate more, Louie or Lucy. So Louie and Lucy both have a grilled cheese. Both are the same exact size, so they are both starting with one whole grilled cheese. Louie's grilled cheese is that top square, and then Lucy's grilled cheese is the bottom square. Now, Louie cuts his into two equal pieces, so halves, and Lucy cuts hers into four equal pieces, so fourths. Let's see what that looks like. So here's Louie's grilled cheese cut into two equal pieces, and Lucy's cut into four. Now, Louie eats one piece, and Lucy eats two. Let's see what that looks like. So here's Louie's grilled cheese after he ate one piece, and here's Lucy's grilled cheese after she ate two pieces. Let's start by taking a look at Louie's. What fraction of Louie's grilled cheese was eaten? Well, Louie's grilled cheese was divided into one, two equal pieces. So two is our denominator. Then Louie ate one of the pieces. So one is our numerator. Louie ate one piece out of the two total pieces. So our fraction is one half. Louie ate one half of the grilled cheese. Now let's take a look at Lucy's grilled cheese. What fraction of her grilled cheese was eaten? Well, the whole grilled cheese was divided into one, two, three, four equal pieces. So four is our denominator. Then Lucy ate one, two, of those equal pieces. So two is our numerator. Lucy ate two pieces out of the four total pieces. So our fraction is two fourths. She ate two fourths of the grilled cheese. Now back to our original question. Who ate more? Louis with one half of the grilled cheese or Lucy with two fourths of the grilled cheese? Looking at the pictures, we can see that they ate the same exact amount. Even though we have two different fractions here, one half and two fourths, they represent the same amount, the same part of the whole grilled cheese. Now again, Louis ate one half and Lucy ate two fourths. One half and two fourths are equivalent fractions. And we can show that they are equivalent fractions by putting an equal sign in between. Even though Louis only ate one piece and Lucy ate two, Lucy's pieces were smaller because she cut her grilled cheese into fourths. So those two pieces were equal to Louis's one piece. So to wrap this up, both ate the same part of the whole grilled cheese. And we showed that with our equivalent fractions, one half and two fourths. Let's move on to another example and take a look at number two. Taking a look at number two, we have two pizzas. We have Ellie's pizza and Joe's pizza. Who has more pizza left, Ellie or Joe? Taking a look at the pictures, we can see that Ellie and Joe both started with the same sized pizza. And we can also tell that they have the same amount of pizza left. But each pizza has a different amount of slices. 
Now let's write out fractions to represent the amount of pizza left. And these are going to be equivalent fractions because they are representing the same amount, the same part of the whole pizza. We will start with Ellie. Ellie's pizza was divided into one, two, three, four equal slices. So four is going to be the denominator. And then one slice is left. So one is our numerator. So Ellie has one fourth of the pizza left. Now for Joe's pizza. Joe's pizza was divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal slices. So eight is the denominator. And then one, two slices are left. So two is the numerator. Two eighths of Joe's pizza is left. Now one fourth and two eighths are equivalent. So those fractions represent the same amount the same part of the whole pizza. And we can see that Ellie and Joe have the same amount of pizza left, even though we have different fractions here. Let's take a look at one more example and move on to number three. Taking a look at number three, we have what fraction of each garden has flowers? So we have two rectangular gardens here that are the same size. Garden A and Garden B. So what fraction of each garden is filled with flowers? Now we can see that the same amount, the same part of each whole garden is filled with flowers. So we're going to have equivalent fractions here. Let's start with Garden A. Garden A is divided into one, two, three equal sections. So three, is our denominator. And then one, two, two of those sections are filled with flowers. So two is our numerator. Two thirds of garden A is filled with flowers. Now let's take a look at garden B. Garden B is divided into one, two, three, four, five, six equal sections. So six is our denominator. And then one, two, three, four of those sections are filled with flowers. So four is our numerator. Four sixths of garden B is filled with flowers. Two thirds and four sixths are equivalent fractions. Both of those fractions represent the same amount. And we can see that shown here with the gardens. We have different fractions, but again, they represent the same amount, the same part of the whole garden. So another example of equivalent fractions. So there you have it. There's what equivalent fractions are with a few examples. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.